In this video, I'm going to show you how to find decision makers on LinkedIn using either the free LinkedIn search engine or the LinkedIn sales navigator, which is the premium LinkedIn search engine. And this one, disclaimer, will give you much better results. And make sure to watch this video till the end because I will also show you how to export your leads from LinkedIn to an Excel file and how to find their professional emails. So you can use LinkedIn for a sunshine to find decision makers if you don't have a lot of budget right now, but you will face some limitation. So the first trap you shouldn't fall into is to um, use the search bar here because this search bar will look into the whole profile. For example, if you write head of sales, here in the search bar and the person who was a head of sales 10 years ago and now is a head of talent, the profile will come out in the search results. So that's why if you if you're looking at uh, for um, specific job titles, click on all filters here, scroll down to the bottom and write your job titles here in the title field between quotes. So here, let's say I'm writing for head of sales. I write head of sales here and here. I only have people that are currently head of sales. And if you are looking for several job titles, you can write or, and for example, head of marketing. And in the search results, you will have head of sales and head of marketing. Here, for example, I have head of marketing, and here I have a head of sales. So the fact that I'm adding an or here is calling a simple programmatic language that uh, LinkedIn allows you to, to use to search the database, which is called LinkedIn Boolean Search. If you don't know what Boolean Search is, I will leave a link to a tutorial in the top right uh, of this video. So this is the, the most important thing to know basically uh, about the, the free LinkedIn search engine. When you know that, you can add other filters on top of that. So you can filter on a connection degree. For example, if you are already connected to that person, if you are connected with a connection, you're second. And if it's outside of your network, it's third degree connection. You can also filter on location. You can also add um, some company names. But if you want to do that and you get a large list, I advise you to use another another field here because here basically if you have a list of 100 companies, you will have to write them one by one and then show result and then add uh, all of your companies like this. So obviously this is way too long. If you have a list of companies, you click on all filters, you scroll down, you go on company here. So here I'm going to write Apple or Amazon or Microsoft. And you will see that in my search results, I will have head of sales and head of marketing from these companies. So here, Amazon, Microsoft, Amazon, Amazon. So if you have a clear list of job titles you want to target, then you can use the title filter here and the company filter. So the LinkedIn free search engine can be useful if you have a precise ID of all the job titles you want to target and a precise ID of all the companies you want to target. But if you don't have a list of companies, this is uh, where it's complicated because you may be tempted to say like, oh, I'm going to target people in the uh, IT services and IT consulting and think that uh, this year will target people working in these industries. But the thing is that this filter does not target the industry of uh, the companies your your targets are working in, but the industry is on the uh, person's profile. So I will show you an example right now with uh, my profile. So if you click on the pen here, you open your settings and you will see a, an industry field. So me here on purpose, I put it chemical manufacturing, which is obviously not uh, my industry. And this is completely different from uh, the industry of my company, which is uh, software. And a lot of people are uh, putting wrong information here, especially they confuse uh, industry for department. So for example, if I uh, work in like uh, the construction industry and I work in marketing, I may be tempted to write that uh, marketing is my industry, my department. Uh, in which I'm working in the in my company is marketing, but the industry of my company is construction. So it's better not to use that filter because you will get a lot of unqualified leads uh, in the search results. What you should use is title, company. Uh, if you are targeting freelancers, you can use service categories because they are basically describing the the, the things they sell. And then you can use the school if that is uh, relevant. Uh, for you, you can also target past companies and location. Basically, what I would do is target either um, specific job titles into a specific location or specific job titles within specific companies. Otherwise, the free LinkedIn search engine won't give you uh, good results. And the other limitation 
uh, of the free LinkedIn search engine is that it limits you to uh, 1000 results. So basically with that, you get here, we have uh, only a little bit more than 100 results. But if I delete that here, you will see that I have a lot of results, but I'm limited to 100 pages of 10 results. If I go to the last page, you can see that I can go further here. Here I am on the last page and I can click on the button next. So you can see that you can use the free LinkedIn search engine to make some lists. But if you are really serious about B2B prospecting and making LinkedIn your first lead acquisition channel, you should definitely invest in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So here I am on the Sales Navigator search engine. And the first thing you can notice is that there is much more filters to find qualified leads. Right now, I will show you the best process uh, you can use to find decision makers into specific companies, especially if you don't know what companies uh, to target yet. Because on LinkedIn, you got a lead search engine and you got also an account search engine. So right now, I'm going to show you a three-step process that you can follow on LinkedIn Sales Navigator to build qualified uh, decision makers lists. First step is to look for companies that are relevant for your business. Second step is to find decision makers inside that companies. The first step is to export these decision makers into a CSV file and get their professional emails. So let's say we don't have a clear list of companies to contact yet. Uh, we are going to build that from a LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And for that, we are going to head to the account search here. If you are coming from the home page, you can go here and click on account filters. So you have a bunch of filters here. First advice is not use uh, annual revenue because the data is uh, not precise here. What you can use is the company headcount. So let's say you want to target uh, SMBs, for example, then you can target companies that are growing. So here is basically uh, the growth of the headcount. So if you want to headcount to have uh, grown from 10 to 20% uh, during the last year, you can add that and that will allow you to target companies that are growing, so that are in good health and have potentially the, the budget to pay you. You can target a specific country and you can target a specific industry as well. And this time it will be uh, the industry of the company, the industry that you can see uh, here on the company page, book and periodical publishing. So let's say here, I want to target software development companies, for example, this filter will be efficient, but it will be only target companies who have really software development as industries on their uh, company pages. Then you get number of followers, not so relevant. You get a uh, department headcount that can be useful if you want to target companies that have for example, at least uh, five salespeople. You can target the company that have a growing department, for example, a growing team of sales. Basically the same thing than for headcount, but for a specific department. Technology used, you shouldn't use it because yeah, same thing as revenue. LinkedIn uh, doesn't say where the data come from. And from my experience, it's really inaccurate. Then you get spotlights. And spotlights can be interesting if you want to target companies that are growing or that show good signs of growth or health or good results. For example, you can here target companies that are currently hiring. So if they are hiring, it means that they are growing. If you are a recruiting agency, this is a golden opportunity for you because you can see that these companies are currently hiring and you can say that in your messages that, oh, I noticed that you are currently recruiting on LinkedIn and you can use that as a, as an icebreaker. Then you have all the signals that you can use. Uh, funding events or recent uh, leadership changes. For example, if a company just hired a new head of sales, this can be a good way to uh, sell new services uh, or new product to this person because the new C-levels that are coming in a company are most likely to buy new product or services. One filter that LinkedIn recently added is connection. So you can basically see if you have uh, first degree connections in the company in your list. And that can make your first touch point with that company a bit easier because you already know someone uh, working there. We have a list of companies that are relevant uh, for our business. The next step is to uh, convert these search results into an account list. So for that, I'm going to click on select all here, set the list, create a new list, and let's call it software companies, US software companies hiring and save. The thing that is a bit painful is that I would have to do the same thing for all the pages. So in terms of UX, that is not super easy from LinkedIn, but I get to click on select all 
save to list and select my list again. So if you have a lot of pages, that will be a bit painful, but this worth the effort. As a next step is to go on the lead search here, scroll down, click on account list. And here you will find the list you just created. I will click on include here and on the right will appear all the people that are currently working in the companies in my account list. And the next step is super simple, is to go to the current job title filter and then add the job titles you are targeting. So here let's select head of sales and you see here I have all the head of sales in the account list. So here you can see that I have, I had more than 50 companies and here I have only five results. It's mean that in some of these companies, there are no head of sales or maybe they are not named head of sales. Maybe they are chief of sales. So maybe I want to add that to my list. And here this time LinkedIn doesn't add uh, suggestions. So I will add here the job titles with quotes. And let's say if that changes something. No, let's say, oh, okay, well, these guys don't have head of sales. So I will also target head of marketing. And you can see that here I have more results. So basically you set the sales navigator search engine to only look into these companies. And then after that, you can do whatever you want with the other filters. You can add job title filters. You can add experience filters, location filters but you will always search within that list. A good thing to do when you are happy with search results is to save the search. And when you save a search, you will basically get notified every time uh, new leads fit with your search criteria. So if there is a new head of sales, a new head of marketing, a new chief of sales in these companies, you will be notified here. If you click on save searches, new results will appear here. For example, here, if I click on this search will appear the 10 new results. So the 10 new person that fit my search results and I can go back to the original search I made with all the results uh, by clicking here. So this is a good way to get leads now, but to also ensure that you will get new leads that fit your search criteria in the future. If you are happy with your search results, now it's time to start the outreach. And for that, you need emails. So right now I will show you how to export these leads into a CSV file and how to find the professional emails using the Evaboot Chrome extension. So here, let's say I want to target all the uh, heads up in these companies. I will just write head here and we'll come out on my search result, all the people that have uh, head in their job title. Second step is to download the Evaboot Chrome extension. So you can see on the top right of my screen, I have this button here, export with Evaboot. If you want to get the same, you click the first link in the description of this video and you follow the process to uh, download the Chrome extension and you will have the same button here. Once you are ready, you click on export with Evaboot here. Basically, it will open the uh, Evaboot app and on the app, you will have the choice to export the leads with or without emails. So in our case, I will uh, select with email and write like heads off software companies and click on export leads. Once your export is launched, you will see it running here. You can go do another thing because you will get notified by email when your export is ready. Basically for a list of 50 people like this, it will take between three and 10 minutes. So back to our EVB dashboard, we can see that the export is completed and we had pretty good results because we found uh, 42 emails out of uh, 53 leads, 68% of valid emails. So we are sure that this email exists and 11% of risky emails. So we are really sure, we are not really sure that this email exists, but you can uh, still try um, to shoot them. So basically we find, uh, we found 80% uh, of the emails here. This is pretty good results. Basically you can, for your search, it will depend on the industry of your leads. For example, here it's in software, so more digital. So it's normal that we get good results here. But if you target like medical industry or construction, you will be most likely to have less than that. And if you want to download the search, you click here, you will have to buy credits to download the search. And then you can select to uh, download only the safe emails, only the lead with emails or all the files and you click on Donald file here to get your leads into a CSV file. So here I imported the results uh, of the Evaboot export to Google Sheets. 
so you can uh, see all the data we get. So basically, you have a ton of data with EVBoot because we don't only uh, export search results, we also visit the profiles and visit the company pages uh, of your leads. So basically, you have position, etc. But you also like the exact number of employee. You got the number of connection, for example. You got a lot of information on uh, the company as well. So I invite you to here look at the data in details and see what can be useful um, in your use case. Other difference that you will find on EVBoot compared to other uh, sales navigator scraper is that we also double check if your leads really match your search filters. If you remember, we were only looking for heads off. So here I have head, 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 head. And you can see on the column match filters, it's written yes, because uh, my search criteria have been uh, respected. Here I have written wrong title. And you can see in the title column that I don't have head written. I have team lead, board member, business development. So in case the leads don't really match my shirt filters, Everboot will tell me to uh, take a look at these leads and then I can take the decision to integrate them in my uh, prospecting sequences or not. That can save you a lot of time, a lot of resources and help you focus your prospecting effort on the right leads. Second thing that Everboot will do is uh, clean the, the names and the company names no capital letters, no emojis. Everboot goes through all the colon here and make sure the, um, the data is super clean for your outreach or for your CRM. And we do the same thing for company names. We will, for example, delete a juridical mention like LLC or stuff like that. So you can have clean data for, yeah, prospecting sequences or CRM uploads. And that's how you use LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator to find decision makers. Now, as you can see, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is a super powerful tool to build prospecting lists. So if you want to know more about how to get the most out of LinkedIn Sales Navigator for your prospecting, I invite you to watch the complete tutorial I've made that will appear just right here. I wish you a great day and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.